plasma glow and heated metal effects can be super fast and super easy. Here's how. Heated metal takes on some really beautiful colours. Here I have a melter gun already painted. For this effect we should be focusing on the muzzle. First I take Gilliman flesh and paint it over the muzzle, not too thick but enough to enable a wet blend. Then I come in with a purple wash or ink or contrast, in this case I'm using Droop GI Violet. That goes over the first uh, two thirds of the still wet Gilliman flesh. Don't mix it by brush, uh, the paint should give a nice gradient all by themselves. Finally a vibrant blue, here I'm using Talisar blue and putting it just over the end. I let the paints merge by themselves and end up with this effect once dry. This effect works well on flamers too. I grabbed one of my Heresy Emperor's children and slapped the effect onto his melter. I think it looks pretty neat. Now for plasma weapons, I'm going to show two ways to do them. Both are similar but one requires edge highlights while the other dry brushing. Firstly I paint the coils and vents at the front with the brightest white that I have, in this case Vallejo Dead White. You may have to do two thin coats to get a uniform coverage. Then take the white and run an edge highlight around the parts of the gun casing that will catch the light emanating from the coils. Once done, choose the colour you want the glow to be and grab the appropriate contrast paint or glaze. For these two, I want one to be Ethermatic Blue and one to be Imperial Fists Yellow. I then slap it over the coils, vents and highlights on the gun casings. Finally, I just wipe the paint off the top of the coils with my finger, letting the contrast paint settle into its own gradient down the sides. For the dry brushing variant, paint the coils white again and then come in and dry brush the white over the top of the gun and halfway down the sides. For the colours here, I'm going for a green and a red. In this case, the green is Tesseract Glow and the red is Baal Red. Then the same thing with the finger, wiping off the top of the coils. Given that dry brushing isn't as bold with its highlights as edge highlighting, you may want to very lightly dry brush them with the white to get that super bright highlight. And there's two easy ways to do it. Now let's have a look at getting that glow to hit a model. So, here's another Emperor's Children Marine, this time with a plasma gun. First I'm going to do the muzzle burn effect around the gun, just as I have previously demonstrated. Then I do the highlighting method with the plasma glow. I have chosen Tesseract Glow as the yellowy green will look good against the dark purple armour. Once I've painted it over the coils, vents and edges, and after the smudgy finger thing, I then go around the model and judge which parts would get light spill. The top of his left forearm and the front corner of his right pauldron are in line and they get a glazing along with the underside of the chin on his beaky helmet. I even put a few dabs on the ground to look like light spill has reached the, uh, the ash waste terrain. Well there we are, quick and easy glow and muzzle burn effects. Contrast paint is so good for these techniques, the way that they can uh, create their own gradients really elevates this to a super quick hack as opposed to a long drawn out process. Just to give a perspective of the speed and easiness of these effects, I shot this entire video in three 10 minute sections, uh, excluding the, uh, the turntable shots, of course. Now, Warp Fiend is going to be doing a video on the channel soon, where she shows more advanced ways to do these effects. 
If you like the idea of me showing easy painting hacks and then having Warp Fiend show the Pro Painter versions, click that subscribe button and leave a comment down below the video. I'm Autumn Witch and I'll catch you next time on Bleeding Tree Gaming.